All right, folks, while finally actually doing the videos for the Muffin Masters, well, on the Friday, I'm not sure when this is going to air. Hopefully, I'll do it as post haste. Maybe Sunday. But, anyways, it's crazy that we have a new fan, not fan fest, but when it fan, well, it was post Friday or whatever, anyways. We got some new freaking details. We got some new details. We got some new figures. I'm kind of interested, but it sucks that they're not really going for what I figured they should do. Not to mention the weird cross up. And we're, it's like, it makes sense that they did it, but it doesn't make sense. Just saying. It makes sense, but yet it doesn't make sense. So, what am I talking about? Well, okay, well, let's just go with the few things that they have. Let me just do a few things right quick. There we go. And actually, I don't really need that anymore. I'm just making sure I've cleared things because right now my laptop is freaking humming like a storm. Just making sure I try to quiet down. Anyways. All right, anyways. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to show any photos. I don't know if I'm going to show photos or not. That's going to be a little bit of hard work. But anyways, first things first is they showed the A squad. They did all of the A squad a SPD. But there's a freaking damn issue, folks. There's a freaking damn issue. It's like I love uniqueness. I love it. I would so get A squad. Definitely would like to get the Psycho Rangers. That's freaking hard because you're not going in freaking damn stores. <laughs> it's like you're not going in stores. Well, we got A Squad now, and A Squad is not really a Target exclusive, but I usually just see it in Target. So we got Blue versus. Frick, I don't even remember his name. But, anyways, we have SPD Blue versus A Squad Blue. That's the only way how you're going to get the blue. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're not going to do freaking. um, Excuse me. They're not going to do the freaking Leo effect at all. Yeah, so it's like if you want them, you're gonna have to get the two pack, and that most likely means that even for SPD Blue, they won't reissue him single either. So those days are gone. And it's like, what the fuck? No, no, that doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. What the frick? No. It's like, yeah, that's the only way how you get them. It's like, what the frick? That that's some crap, dude. That's some crap. So eventually, most likely, we'll track him down. I think that hopefully, if things work okay, I'm most likely will go to the freaking Target, hit it up, get the freaking thing. Because freaking, well, I don't even know if it's actually still good. It's like, I don't know if the, it's like looking at him like, hmm, the details may be good, maybe bad. I don't remember. Anyways, so that one's released. They're releasing A Squad, the Red Ranger, and that's okay. That's fine. You must go find it almost anywhere, maybe. They're releasing the Pink Ranger. The Pink Ranger is actually going to be a GameStop exclusive. <clears throat> the Yellow Ranger is going to be released as well. I don't know where. I think she does have it. He doesn't have an exclusivity. And then we have the Green Ranger, who will be exclusive to Best Buy. I'm pretty sure if Toys R Us was still around, they would so actually have gotten into some of this action. Rest in peace, buddy. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the messed up part about A Squad that I really don't like is the fact of they don't have any head sculpts for them. And of course, I talked to D, and I also mentioned the fact of the the um, Magnet Defender, but they have plans for Magnet Defender. I'm pretty sure they have freaking damn plans. So it's like. That's the good news. They have plans. They're going to do something. They, they have some idea. It's like it's either that or they're just going to be like, oh, we're just going to make the freaking other ranger form of his. And then it's like, that's where you're going to get the head. And it's like, eh, that's OK, I guess. But the thing is that a squad and even crazier, let's go to freaking S. Let's go with the actual SPD freaking um, um. Omega Ranger, he doesn't have a head sculpt either, but he comes with a nice little bike though. It's like, yeah, but his head sculpt. We want his head sculpt. Come on. It's like, yeah, but it's like, dude, the end of the damn episode is where you can find his head, where you can find his face reveal. The end of the series. Don't you dare bring Nova Ranger involved in this crap too and be like, 
we don't know what she looks like. We have no idea. And it's like, I thought you guys do research. If you're doing free damn research, good for you on the whole thing if you found out A Squad. That's awesome. But you didn't even want to do head sculpts? The fuck? And it's like, at least for the first, it's like for right now, what you really should do is throw people under the bus. If your research is airtight and awesome, then throw the damn freaking people under the bus throw the heads of the bus it's like oh yes but corporate they were like oh no we don't really need to do that it's like throw them under the bus if you don't want to get freaking knocked and punched every single time i see something messed up throw the freaking corporate under the bus it's time to do that shit and it's like oh but we'll get fired it's like yeah it's like but at least the good news is that you're not going to get blamed for anything like geez it would be nice if you actually have like some cutting edge parts. Like for instance, again, like MPR toys, we actually saw the gold ranger of Zio all gold up, but then corporate came along and we're like, <laughs> it's like corporate came along though. It's like, we know that corporate did it. <clears throat> now it would have been nice that maybe we see you do stuff and we see you have the heads, but then they said no to the heads. That's good because then we know it's their fault. Yeah, it's like Omega Ranger. It's like, well, then how about this? If you're going to freaking do this shit, then you shouldn't give us freaking Shadow Ranger then. You should have just allowed Shadow Ranger to just be Shadow Ranger. No Doggy Kruger face. Not Doggy Kruger head then. If you're going to do this, then you might as well actually go to extra step and show that SPD will most likely have no heads at all except for the main five. Frick. <laughs> Yeah, let me guess, Cat Ranger's not going to get ahead, or if we're lucky, she will get ahead and still be bullcrap because it's like, and you won't give Omega Ranger his head a Y. As for A Squad, it's like A Squad has heads. Heck, I had to be reminded that A Squad had like a few freaking scenes in the series without their helmets. And it's like, then why the fuck aren't you guys freaking able to do that shit? <laughs> it's like, yeah, why you're not able to do it? There's many of the scary ones already. You might as well continue on with your scariness. I would be double down purchasing all A Squad if you freaking did the head sculpts. I mean, yes, A Squad is definitely tantalizing and is freaking tempting. But you know what will be icing on the cake? The head sculpts. Will I use them? I would actually kind of consider them because those would be freaking unique. Unique. You know, you freaking damn unique. All right. So it's messed up that you decide to be like, oh, well, it's all good, man. It just, <laughs> we, we released a squad and it's like, that's good for you. But the head sculpts does exist, and it's not like the damn Phantom Ranger, which apparently I think is coming soon. And even so, it's like now you have to do so super research because if you really did your research, you would learn that oh, because apparently they do know some research because I didn't know about this <laughs> season two script that never was made, and it's like Scorpina is gonna date and Goldar, and it's like damn right because <laughs> in the freaking damn super sentai they actually have a baby it wasn't freaking bandora or rita who gets to have a child no they actually have a child at the end of the series it ends with them being trapped forever hovering in space with a child in that freaking thing check it out for yourself check it out for yourself it'll make you say what the fuck <laughs> You know, speaking of Scorpina, they decide to actually do a two-pack with Scorpina. So now you have the Yellow Ranger versus Scorpina, which... Did they ever actually... I think they did have a little bit of a tussle. Yeah, but it gets worse where it's like, it's Aisha. And it's like, Aisha doesn't know who the hell freaking Scorpina is. <laughs> it's like, she don't know who the hell she is. So that doesn't even make sense. It's like, yeah, you gave us a head scope, but... It doesn't make freaking damn sense, though. <laughs> it doesn't make freaking damn sense. It doesn't make sense. She never went against Scorpina. She never did. Okay, she never did. Okay, this is so stupid. This is really stupid. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is really extremely stupid. 
I would prefer if you did a re-release, which you did of the White Ranger, just put the White right Ranger with freaking Scorpion. Well, that didn't work either because Tommy went against her as the Green Ranger, I think, and never as the White Ranger. <clears throat> so it's like continuity wise, this is complete bulk. This is crap. But when it comes to consumer wise, it's perfect because, well, you got Aisha's head, you got a Yellow Ranger again, you get a second chance to get a Yellow Ranger, which is hard to fuck. And it's like, I guess I need, I do kind of need that because I don't even have freaking damn Trini. <laughs> and Scorpion is not bad either. So it's like, yeah. But still, though, it's kind of messed up <clears throat> that continuity wise, it's not that good. Let's see. So that was a squad. Then they shell Scarpina. And then is there any other one that I missed? I think I didn't. There was maybe another two pack that I forgot. Oh, yes. TJ and Psycho Silver, a.k.a. Zane. So at least we get Zane's head sculpt. Oh, oh, what you're going to do now? Oh, well, for the Power Rangers in Space Silver Ranger, we don't need a head sculpt. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, we don't need a head sculpt because you already got it. You don't need a head sculpt. And it's like, is that what they're playing at? Is that what they're fucking playing at? I swear, or this is how they're playing. This is some bullshit and you suck. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we got TJ, which is good. We got TJ. It's like, it's, it's decent. It's a decent collection. The only messed up part is how it is nowadays. Is that they're most likely not going to ever do a single release ever again. I think that's how it's going to be played. Is that they most likely would never do a single release ever again. So it's either you get the two pack or too freaking damn bad. And it's like. Oh, that's some dumb crap, dude. Listen, listen, listen. It's some messed up crap right there you got. It's like some messed up crap you got right there. What you really should do is allow us still to have the single packs. Okay. Given I would actually buy the Blue Ranger and a squad Blue Ranger, of course, I would most likely buy those, but I don't like it if we're getting truly forced to do it in the matter. It's like, yeah, we're getting truly forced. It's like you want Astronema, you want freaking um, Andros, you got to get the freaking two pack because we're not going to release it anymore. We're not going to do the whole single package anymore. And it's like, okay, oh my goodness, why the frick you going to frick? Oh, freaking. <laughs> okay, and last but not least is, of course, Andros in his gear as in Lost Galaxy. Was it Lost It was like in this in Lost Galaxy? It's like, I don't think it was Lost Galaxy. I think it was in space. I think it was in space, which brings an interesting new concept now. I wonder if Boom Comics will maybe be interested in this. The fact of where now you have stealth technology. It's like... You should also tell Boom Comics that they all had a power-up form that never was used in Power Rangers. It's like all six of the In Space Rangers had a glitter form just like Season 3 had of My Own Power Rangers. Yeah, it's kind of funny being like, yeah, it's even more freaking leaning towards the part of where I'm like, yeah, um, <clears throat> Mega Ranger was inspired by power rangers spiral by my morphin power rangers and icing on the cake is the fact of in season three you had the glitter forms in well i forgot what they were called but freaking i'm gonna call them glitter forms too bad <clears throat> and in mega ranger versus uh, mega ranger versus which one was it i think it was mega rangers versus um ginga man I think that's where it happened, where they got to have a power up form and now they have glitter forms <laughs> and they were never used in freaking America. <laughs> like they were never used in America. And I'm pretty sure, wait, we did have, a, we did actually have it. Yeah, we did actually have a crossover, but they didn't use that footage. Damn, they didn't use that footage, though. That footage was cut. Oh, oh oh it's like yeah that sucks for you hasbro and also sabans you i mean bandai america you could have actually cashed up even a little bit more money it's kind of weird that you actually didn't do it but let's just hope that the researchers know about super sentai looked and been like they have glitter forms and especially boom comics but considering boom comics didn't even do the idea of we need a white ranger and well it's like we need a white ranger when it comes to lord dragon and we just choose jason it's like 
this would have been a great time to do freaking lore of the white ranger that was supposed to happen that didn't happen thanks to many kids who are like tommy come back tommy come back it's like yeah because the person who played as aaron in vr troopers was supposed to be the new white ranger so it's like you guys fucked him over it's like you fucked him over but at least he got to voice the freaking gold ranger it's like at least he got to voice the gold ranger but he never got to be a ranger himself at least he got vr troopers but oh vr troopers are never gonna actually have the whole um crossover thing or even their own movie or anything like that it's like nothing's gonna come up of freaking vr troopers nothing's gonna come up of that and it's like it's kind of weird it's like I will say, even though Power Rangers animated would be weird, but VR Troopers, we can understand that that was freaking hard. If they animated that, that's fine. <laughs> it's even crazier if they go meta and be like, yeah, Big Bad Beetleborgs is now animated. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, but you have to deal with comics. It's like, that's going to be freaking weird. It's like, and don't you dare use Ultimate Spider Man as your template because that's what they did. In Ultimate Spider Man, they. Which I'm like, why'd you name that? It shouldn't have been never got that name. But anyways, they use animation and they use comic form at the same time. Don't do that. It's like, well, that was actually cool. It's just the humor that they use was bullcrap. What's even worse is that, oh, wait, never mind. They're not in Disney. So thank goodness. It's like, you're not in Disney because if they were in Disney, oh, fuck. The writers who did all that crap could have gotten freaking Big Bad Beetle Wars. And it's like, oh, shoot, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> but anyways, Andros's get up was look good. Stealth suit. That's freaking awesome. I would most likely consider having it because that is like something that's like that's very rare to see. That's very rare. Well, there's two things. Number one, that's very rare to see. Number two, why couldn't that have been the two pack? It's like, yeah, if it comes to Astronema versus Andros, I would think that having that would have been more of an interesting thing to have and would be very cool versus just being like, oh, well, if you want the Red Ranger, it's kind of you have to get Astronema through, you know, you got to get those. It's like, what the frick, dude? Seriously? It's like, that's not how it should go. It should be the fact of Red Ranger you can buy. Special version of Rare Ranger and Astronema are together in one piece. But I guess technically it is kind of forcing more people to check out the Red Ranger and you have to check out Astronema. But still, though, I have to say when it comes to having the idea of the A squad not having their heads, that's a freaking letdown. That's a freaking messed up letdown but i would most likely try <clears throat> it's like i would try to get them maybe it's like there's more that i need to get and it's like oh you gotta get them online it's like oh yes get them online so i can most likely get something that has a messed up freaking issue and i'll just send it back because oh my gosh they have a freaking scratch on the damn visor <laughs> what the fuck uh. Oh, yes, and again, coming soon is the Phantom Ranger, most likely. 